Got one. We got a nice one. Oh, this is a pig. All right, guys, as you can see, we're fishing in the middle of April, well, late April, with a snowstorm blowing in. It's the weirdest thing I've seen. It's like 45 degrees out, so it's really not that cold. We just got a snowstorm coming in today. Oh. We just have a jerk bait tied on. And we're gonna see if we can somehow get a bite in this really weird weather. Alright, so we're just gonna take a few casts here. Got one. Yep, that's what we figured would happen here. Oh, no weeds. It's a small one. He's feisty. What are you not helping me here? <laughs> Hung himself up on the. There you go, come off those branches there and then. Let's see if we can just uh, scoop up with the net there. There we go. So, we got something today on a little swim bait with an underspin underneath it. And he's small, but he's healthy. And he choked that swim bait, so you know he's feeding pretty well. Nice and pink. And uh, we'll get a picture of him. It's not every day that you actually get and get out and get bass, you know, and it's been snowing and all kinds of weather. Now we just gotta convince him to get his, uh, his big brothers and big sisters to start biting, right? All right, well, we got one in the books today, small one, but we'll take what we can get. <clears throat> All right, buddy, let's see if we can get a good release in here. And there he goes, right back down to the depths. All right, and he's off. All right, guys, change up spots. We're back with the um, bait caster now. This is a little bit murkier water. We're gonna fish a jerk bait a little bit over here. Then we're gonna fish down along that bank with a chatter bait. grass right there that's the only downside to this spot is there's a lot of grass and normally I cut through it with a chatterbait or a spinnerbait um, I had a feeling that this is gonna happen with a jerkbait but just wanted to give it a try yeah, we're getting that wind 
coming in, the snow's coming back. Nice one. Oh, this is a pig. Oh, this is a good fish. Nice fish. It's a tank. Just smashed the jerk here. Oh, what a nice one. Whoo! That is a hog. That's what we're talking about. Just one hook. One hook. That's all we had in him. Oh, never mind, two. Two hooks. To get the pliers here. There we go. There we go. That is a pig. Look at how fat this, this mama is. Tree spawn. I mean, look at that bucket mouth. And she just smacked that jerk bait. All right, let's get a release on this big mama. Baby girl, do your thing. She's off like a rocket. So I didn't have a, a conclusion for that past video, guys. I am getting way better at editing now. I think I kind of understand what I need. I've been shooting some other stuff, and I think it's really good. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Um, so please stick with me. The, the content we have coming up, it's uh, new. And um, we're doing steelhead, all right, salmon. Uh, we're right in steelhead season right now. So I'll, I'm gonna have a how-to video coming up for you guys on how to tie spawn bags. Just figured we'd start with something really basic, a question that I get you know, from guys all the time when I'm out on the water, uh, how I tie my bags and kind of what I'm using for bait. And uh, yeah, so I kind of wanted to do that. Also, um, we got some pike fishing videos coming up which hopefully you guys will like that. And I just feel like the stuff coming up is just way more polished. It's a better end product. And uh, right now I'm kind of using some footage from over the past year that um, I had just kind of get my feet underneath me when I make these videos. So like I said, they're going to get better, guys. And uh, please, if you like this video, um, like, subscribe. I know I'm, I'm starting off. We got 50 views on my last video. So you know, I know it's not a lot, but I'm really proud of all 50 views. I really appreciate you guys, you know, watching and spending the time. It means a lot. So, um, so yeah, stay tuned till next week, guys. Um, check out that how-to video, and uh, I'll see you guys, you know, later.